thought I was working a look and my husband burst out laughing. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I recently did an updated video showing you my entire updated luxury handbag collection that was a little bit long and I've had this request for quite a long time to do an update of my SLG collection or my small leather goods. So that's what I'm going to show you today. It's not lost on me the irony that these are called small leather goods and the vast majority of them are canvas but let's go through them anyway and I'm going to talk to you as I show you them and as we work through them I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into what I actually use on a regular basis and what I don't use that often. So let's get started and I think we'll start with pouches because they're right beside me and there's quite a few of them. So these starting off are the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches. Now, <laughs> these toiletry pouches are a little bit controversial at the minute because if you want to buy these, because mine are the old fashioned version, I suppose, or the original version. And if you want to buy these now, you probably have to look on the pre-loved market and whatever I can find of the small leather goods that I have, I will link down below. But Louis Vuitton obviously monitors social media and watched that a lot of people were using the toiletry 26, which is this one, the biggest one, and putting in a conversion kit. And that's a kit where you can put an inside liner and attach the rings and use this as a cross body bag. Now, personally, I have never done that probably because I'm fortunate enough to have Louis Vuitton canvas bags in there that I haven't had to do it. But I have used this as a clutch when I take this on holiday. I double it up as being used for a toiletry and then I take it out with me. I don't know about the new one. I don't think I will be buying the new one. In fact, I'm pretty certain. I know never say never, but I'm pretty certain I won't be buying the new one. It is basically this, but with the rings on the side and you can wear it cross body. There is now also one that has leather on the gussets in there and it has card slots. It looks a wee bit like the, the men's version of this that was already out. Mine has a lot of stuff in there that comes on holiday that's uh, toiletries. It's not that exciting. So I don't think I'll be buying the new one, either of the new ones. I don't think I'll be buying the one with the leather version or the crossbody version, but I do really, really like these. Starting with the 26, I use this every time we travel. When we do travel, as I said, I double it up as a clutch and I use it then as well at nighttime. This, I think for me, I bought this a while ago, so it was reasonably inexpensive when it comes to luxury type prices. This was worth it for me. The toiletry 19 is the middle size. And I would have said when we were in lockdown consistently, I said this was one of my least used. Since we've been traveling again, I have used this a lot more. I generally use this to take perfumes in and different things that I don't want to be in with my main toiletries. So every time we've went, I have used this one. Admittedly, I haven't used it as much as the 26 but I do use it and I don't regret buying it. It is the original version and I paid probably not what it is to buy it now, but I really enjoy having these and I don't think I would ever sell them. So this is the 19 and then I ha also have the toiletry 15 and this one is jam packed full. This comes with me in my bag every day to work. You can see my hand cream in there. There's spare contact lenses. There are migraine tablets that have to go everywhere with me. There's a calculator, there's plasters, there's a lot of little medical type, medicine type catch-all things in there. Although <laughs> our calculator fits in, don't know, but it's there. And that just, everything goes in there and that comes with me every day. This was a fabulous purchase. One, I think it's super cute. <laughs> Look how cute she is. She's just tiny. I like little small things like that, pouches. I'm a pouch person. Pouches are something that I have to stop myself buying. I would buy multiples for no reason. So I have reined that in quite a bit, but I really like this one. I get a huge amount of use out of it. I use this, as I say, in my work bag consistently. And I am glad that I have all three of the toiletries. I know some people buy all three to get the trifecta and then actually don't use them. But luckily I actually do. And I think they were good purchases for me. Next pouch I have that I use as an SLG is this, and it's not actually an SLG that you can buy, although you can buy them quite often on Fashion File or on the pre-loved market. And it's the pouch that comes with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I actually use mine. Um, I, there's a mask in mine and some bits and pieces. I generally do use it. If I take the Neverfull with me to work, and if I'm running out maybe at lunchtime, I will grab this and take my card holder and my keys in it. I've also, when we go on holiday, because I take the Neverfull, which is sitting over there, I'm pointing over there, 
when I take that as my travel bag, I will take this then as a clutch in the evenings because when we travel, especially if it's with the boys, I try not to bring a huge amount of handbags with me as well and double up what I have. So the pouch from this doubles up as a little carry pouch, I suppose, a little clutch bag in the evenings. So for me, I do get use out of this, not every day, but certainly enough use to justify having it. Comes the mini pochettes, the Louis Vuitton mini pochettes. The vast majority of my SLGs are from Louis Vuitton. I really like their SLGs. I think the quality is generally quite good. I think they're generally quite durable. I know the price has gone up a lot now and the recent price increase, and I've talked about that in some videos, but generally I think for luxury pieces, their prices aren't bad, although I'm not sure I would be buying one of these at £515, which is the price now. I didn't pay anywhere near that. But I, so I do have a lot. I have Dior as well. I don't have any Chanel SLGs, but I generally go to Louis Vuitton for mine. And in the mini pochette, I have three. So the first one I have is in the Damier Abin. It is also used, oops, that was a little perfume sample that goes in there. And my little slim Chanel Murr goes in here, which I think is fabulous. If you are a lover of mini bags like I am, as you can see behind me, this Murr is very thin and I think it's a really good one for having in your bag. I also think I like when I, I know what does it say about me, but I like when I bring it out and it's Chanel and I just like it and it makes me happy. My brother bought me it for Christmas. It is, as I say, very slim and that's what goes in there. There are a few pens in there. There are lockets or soothers in there. So this also comes in my bag to work on a daily basis. I then have two others and I did say that I would talk to you honestly about what I use and what I don't use. This one gets used. These two have never been used, but I'm still not getting rid of them. I tracked this one down. I actually bought this from Jesse Style here on YouTube. I absolutely love this Paris print. This print, I've talked about it a lot. If I could have got the passport holder, which I did try or Bessie tried to get for me. And there's a video on my channel showing the one he got was uh, inauthentic. It was fake. But this is the mini pochette in this print and I absolutely love it. This Paris print is fabulous. I then also bought the Christmas just past the 21 collection. I bought the London one. London obviously has a, spe a special place in my heart. I would work in London sometimes and I just really loved the print on this. So I couldn't say no to that one either. And I have these two. Now, when I bought them, it was not with the intention of using these on a daily basis. I could use them in my bag. I am a little bit conscious of the silk screen and I don't want to chip it. They both hang in my dressing room where I treat them as decor, I suppose. I have said that I would use this one on the multi pochette if I got the extender links, which I just have never got around to doing, but to wear it as the front pouch on the multi pochette because I love the look of it. I have tried a cross body strap on this and I like the way it looks cross body. I've never taken it out yet because my phone doesn't fit in it. It strikes me as something I might do more in the summer, but those are the two special edition mini pochettes that I have in my collection. Next bag charms and I have one and it is this one. I love the heart print on this. I love this hanging from my bags. Actually, I also have this one, this painted Louis Vuitton luggage tag that Bestie bought me that never comes off my Neverfull. So I generally forget sometimes to take it off and show it because she hangs there in all of her beauty. I love the colors of it. I love how the pink painted colors add to the classic brown monogram and she hangs there perfectly every day. And I have this one, which I showed you. This is from the Patches collection. I love this heart. This is on my combat boots as well. Love this heart so much. This is why I bought this one. I generally would be someone that would urge caution about buying a huge amount of bag charms. I think the cost of them can really add up and I think they can eat into the money you would have for either actual small leather goods that are usable more so than a bag charm or for bags. Now everyone has to decide what their own priorities are and what they want to collect and what they want to have more of. For me personally, too many of these would probably be a waste of money, but the two that I have get regular use because I only have two. That one, as I say, is used every day. This one I do like to hang on my monogram bags as well, just because I love that heart so, so, so much. But I think a huge amount more of them might 
be a little bit now I have a cheek because I buy bags as decor but I think a huge amount more of them for me might be a bit excessive the one I do like I really like the little Vivian statue and I know a few of you have said when I talk about that no don't do it but I really really like it it's just very very expensive for a bag charm but it would be art and I'm arguing with myself internally over that on a regular basis <laughs> moving on from bag charms let's do coin purses and I have the traditional round coin purse which has been discontinued i really wish they hadn't have discontinued this because i think it's a fabulous little piece i use mine as you can see for the very boring traditional reason for coins i just really like it i like the round design of it i just like the shape it's a piece i just like to have i do keep coins in there for parking admittedly it's probably used slightly less since the lockdown because we use cash less but that is my coin purse. It's the round one. I would never get rid of it. I'm not a huge fan of the new version with the clip here and the clip that hangs here. I actually sold the one that came from my multi pochette accessoire, but I really, really like the traditional version. Okay. After coin purses, let's do card holders. For card holders, I have this one first, which is probably one of my favourites because of the colours. Now, I'm not somebody that buys a huge amount of SLG. Somebody asked me on an Instagram questionnaire Q&A recently what was on my wish list for an SLG and the answer is nothing really. Now I'm not saying I'll never buy any because there will be something that comes up in a particular colour or a print that I just I'm like oh I have to have that I love it so much but SLGs I don't really buy say SLGs to match the bag I'm using I don't really buy SLGs to swap in and out of I generally just keep using the ones that I have. For me that is cost effective I'm getting my wear out of them but also I don't really feel the want or the need to keep swapping out of them so this works for me so I probably won't have as big a collection as say card holders or SLGs as some but I'm happy with what I have for what works for me and my lifestyle this is one of my absolute favorites I think I could probably buy many many other flat card holders and I would still come back to using this one because I love the colors and the print of it that much I just think it's fun and it's happy and it's summery you might hear my son in the background he's outside playing with his daddy and the windows are open the next one is this one from Dior which I love because I have fallen hard for the Dior Oblique. Bestie bought me this one maybe last year or no, a couple of years ago I think and this is a card holder that I use quite, you can see cards in it, I use this quite a lot because it has the snap button so I will use this almost as a mini wallet. It has a number of my cards in it, it has I obviously was using it in Paris because it has some Paris things in there and this one I really really like Dior Oblique as I say big big fan of like the shape of it think this one is a really good purchase if you're looking for something that holds a little bit more than a flat card holder but isn't a bulky wallet I really 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 like this one and I have seen some people put conversion kits in these and um, where these is crossbody just for your cards that's something else that you can think of to just get a bit of more use out of some of your SLGs the next one I have is my most recent SLG purchase and it's the color <laughs> can you tell I love me some color and I think this one is fabulous very orangey it's showing up pretty accurately on the screen it's described as being a fiery red I absolutely love it this is from the men's collection as you can see I'm using it I've been using this one since I got it I think it's the color the color when I reach into my bag and I see this looking at me I'm instantly happy and I want to use it and I want to reach for it now the other one that I have that is similar to this is I also have the recto verso in the monogram and black leather but it's currently with Louis Vuitton because the glazing peeled it actually peeled off I showed that in one of my other videos and Louis Vuitton are currently fixing or replacing the glazing so I don't have that with me today but I still have it it's the one that I use this little strap with which I will have linked below this came from Amazon and is very very cheap and cheerful I attach this onto the recto verso and then it becomes like a little clutchy wallet that I can grab and carry if I'm walking in just to the garage or grabbing something on the way home it makes it really really usable from somebody who really didn't like the recto verso at the start I now absolutely love it I think it's a fabulous fabulous SLG something that I would recommend I just add the strap on to this one to show you how it works now obviously the pink strap doesn't go with the fiery red but it gives you an idea of how these can be just made that more usable and I am going to order for this one a strap with a silver buckle that would work with this color just to give me that option whenever I'm using it because I find it really really 
effective and makes it just such a usable piece. I suppose this could be classed as a card holder. This is a mini trunk from Louis Vuitton in the Epi leather and it has the traditional S-lock clasp here and then on the inside it is it's quite thick you could fit quite a number of cards in there you could fit in there your key your key fob even some cards and potentially a lip product and it has a card slot at the back it then closes as the s lock as a trunk does and then it has this gold chain which i have worn crossbody and it sits on me crossbody here i have also worn it when i was trying to be cool and if any of you have watched my videos with my husband i've mentioned his commentary in it before <laughs> I went to go out with it around my neck like this, thinking that I was really cool and this was just hanging down and, you know, thought I was working a look and my husband burst out laughing. I will put a picture in. There's a rapper whose name I can't remember who apparently wears a clock around his neck and this is the rapper that he described me as looking at. He did also in the recent Chanel shopping vlog with something I was trying on. So I've stuck to crossbody since then. <laughs> I don't get quite as much ridicule, let's say, but I really like it. Now, it does mean that you're carrying your phone in your hand. But if we are out with our boys, quite often we will also still have the baby bag or I will carry my phone in my hand at times. I generally don't buy too many bags I can't fit in my phone. I don't want to have to carry it in my hand, but I think this is super, super cool. I just, I really like it and yeah, she's fab. Now, traditional type wallets, the only one that I have left is the Victory wallet and I've talked about this here before on this channel and I have reviewed this here on my channel. I used to have the long zippy wallet a number of times. I had a few of those and I really enjoyed it when I used longer wallets, but I haven't been, even with the Neverfill, I just haven't been using them that much. The Victory wallet is, oh, I've talked about this a lot. This is something that my husband and my children bought for me for Mother's Day a couple of years ago. And I just, it, it hasn't worked out the way that I thought it would. I thought I would use this consistently as a compact mini wallet, but it, it can be quite, it's maybe just because I haven't given it enough of a chance. The slots can be quite tight to get your cards in and out of. And the coins, if you do go to put coins in here, it can be quite tight. Now that can be made worse if I have too many cards in here and then there's not as much space here, but it just can be a little bit cumbersome and I haven't used it that much. When I got the fiery ready orange card holder, I had been using this and as soon as that arrived, I swapped out of this and into that, which is not a great sign. So we're gonna move on from that one because I don't really like to talk about it. And let's do key pouch or key holder type items and the next that I have, I have the four ring key holder, which I love, love this little thing. Now the four ring key holder works for me because I use a lot of mini bags. If you have the six ring key holder, it is wider and you can fit a credit card down the back. You obviously can't do that with the four ring key holder. The six ring key holder, I think as well, if you are putting your card fob on it, may give you a little bit more of an option than this one, although your card fob will still generally hang outside of the key holder. This for me is perfect. It keeps my keys together, doesn't score the inside of the bags, is small enough in mini bags, and I really, really like this. The six ring I did have, but I sold it because I never came out of this one, and I just kept using the four. I also have the two key clays or key pouches. I've done a video recently, I'm not sure which one will come out first, but giving you seven ideas of how to use this and what I think of it and whether or not I think it is worth the money. I really, really like these, spoiler alert. I think that they are good little pieces even at the price they are today. This one I use as a mini catch hole that goes into all of my bags. It goes into my Neverfill and it goes into my mini bags. And this one I use at the minute as a Euro coin purse because Ireland has both sterling and Euro in different parts of it. And I'm regularly between the two currencies. So I keep Euro in here. I think these are great little pieces and all three of these are used well these two are used on a daily basis and this one is used every time i am shopping in europe next i have my passport cover and i took it whenever bestie and i and the girls went to paris recently and i felt very chic with my louis vuitton hollywood passport cover what had started me on the passport cover was the paris print that i wasn't able to get in the paris 
print passport cover. I love this one though and no regrets on getting the Hollywood. I also think these are really good for not only using as a traditional passport cover but you have the card slots here, you have a little slot here and you have bits that you can use in here. So this could also be used almost as a slightly larger version of a pocket organiser as well as as a passport cover. When I used it with my passport I was also able to put things in here so I think they're actually really good little pieces and I'm glad that I finally got one of these. I think it's just so cool with the print. I do love Vivian. I know not everybody does, but I really do. And lastly, we're coming to what I'm going to call stationary type SLGs. Now I do have the Nice Mini sitting over there and I have the Nice Nano, but I haven't included those because I don't really think they're SLGs in the traditional sense, even though I get that SLGs is leather and these are mostly canvas, but I don't really think they fit, but I am going to show you my stationary items. And the first one is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the GM size. I love this. I love this to bits. I am a stationary freak though. I like to write things down, even though I have many laptops that I have to use all the time. I really love stationery. I love putting the inserts in this. I love organizing it. I like sorting my life out. I like writing things down. I still have the cover on it that says, don't lose your fire. You'll see bits and pieces in here that are things that my children will have given me or my husband will have given me and they stay in there as well. I then have one of my trusty inky pens on it that I sometimes put too close to these but I love writing with those. That stays in there and this makes me happy. I know it makes me a geek. I am a little bit of a geek. I always have been a little bit of a geek but I love this and it's just, I appreciate it's very expensive for what is a, a, effectively an agenda cover but if you're a stationery lover and somebody that's going to use it every day or very, very regularly, I've never regretted buying this. I then also have the pencil case because be a geek. I have the London one. I, <laughs> I suppose I had never really found a print before in the pencil case that I thought, oh, I have to have this. But there is a certain part of my work that I will go to London to do. And this, it just, it means something to me. It resonates with that. And I really, really liked it. I thought the print was fab. I loved all of the London pieces here. I love Vivian, as you know. I just really liked it. There's the corgis, love the dogs. I just loved it. So I had to have it. And I actually bought a friend of mine this as a gift as well, because I just thought the print on it was so fab. So that is another piece of my stationery. And then the last one I have to show you on my SLG collection is another stationery piece. And it is this beautiful leather bound notebook which has Vivian sitting on top. That's probably a better way for the camera to show you. It has Vivian sitting on top of a tower of trunks and then Vivian is here. And then on the inside, it has gold edged paper. And it says on the inside, on the bottom of all of the paper, Louis Vuitton. Now, I keep saying there's something, there's a particular project, I suppose that I keep saying I'm going to use this for. But it's so pretty and the leather is so pretty and the paper is so pretty that I haven't written on it yet. And I know that is very counterproductive. It's my Louis Vuitton sign. I know you should use it. I just, I haven't, but I love it. And it sits on my desk. And even when I'm not using it in the traditional sense and that I'm not writing on it, Makes me happy to look at her, but like that speedy up there that I don't use, but makes me happy to look at her. So that is my SLG collection. I have, I suppose, I do think I have quite a lot of SLGs, but they're spread across a number of categories. So as all of them really get used, I don't have that many that double up for the same thing. And I think I've got it to the point that I'm happy with it. I don't feel that it's too excessive. I don't think that there's too many duplicates. Everything has its place and everything has its use. I will try and link what I can find down below. Any questions, just let me know in the comment box. And thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again. Thank you.